Hey fellas, it's Sam from Shred Gaming, and I'm actually tonight I'm going to do a objective video. Uh, more times than not, in the in the battles that I've been in uh, recently, is that uh, I don't think everybody's read the patch notes, <laughs> or at least haven't gone over it and understand what's going on. Um, the problem with the, uh, the, the the gameplay I've seen lately is that we have a lot. There's a lot of players that don't realize that every one of these objective points are not the same. Uh, specifically when I'm coming to the aerial, aerial, the aerial defense fighters, right? I'm not going to cover ground targets in this video. I'm just covering objectives and the aerial defense fighters that are involved. Uh, you know, a lot of times you'll see a plane fly toward a defense, to an objective, and, oh wait, um, you know, it, it's not going to work. Uh, and you'll see what I'm talking about in this video, what, uh, what I'm talking about. Because uh, not every objective point is the same. And people are darn, don't seem to be aware of that, uh, and they take the wrong plane to the objective point, uh, which leads to a lot of confusion, a lot of time wasted not getting the objective. Um, you know, I, I've watched an objective point go on for the better part of five minutes and, and still couldn't take the objective point because the wrong planes were at the objective. Uh, and uh, hopefully with this video, for the new players to understand what I'm talking about, um, Specifically, so I'm gonna just gonna be running this straight out of a, uh, out of a, training room, because it's a much easier to control. So uh, this first one that we're gonna do here, which is collision, um, it's gonna have two air bases and a military base and two garrisons. Okay, so that's three of the uh, objectives. Now, we're going to actually go look at this before I do this. Uh, the garrison, which is the least complex and defended Terry, provides three influence points every five seconds. That's pretty standard, right? Uh, this changed the number of points needed to take a garrison. I think went down to 90 now, uh, I believe, in the last patch. Um, yep, garrison is 90 points now. Staging airfield is 90 points. Uh, the mining plant, air base, military base, command center are still all at 140. So there's six different objectives in this game. Uh, the three that we'll be doing, obviously, is going to be the air two air ba the air bases, uh, the military base, and the garrison. Pretty simple, right? So the garrison, you need 90 points to take them. Least complex defended territory. Uh, we're not doing the forward airstrip. I'll do that in the next part of the video. But all right, so the air base allows controlling team to change aircraft types and class, use the tactical screen, reselectable respawn points, decreases respawn, repairs your aircraft depending on if it has a wrench or not, and provides three info points every five seconds. Okay? And the military base conducts a rocket raid on uh, an adjacent neutral or enemy territory every 20 seconds, provides three influential points every five seconds. So those are the three uh, that we'll be dealing with. Now this isn't, I'm not going to be doing any fighting really, I'm not, I'll probably get hit by a shit ton of AA, but what I'm doing is I'm going to be flying by them and showing you uh, the number of aircraft that are involved, uh, air defense fighters over each objective, uh, and what you need to understand about your fighter composition to take that objective, right? Uh, and that's where I see a lot of problems and people are having issues with. Uh, so once again, uh, what is the uh, the number of um, aircraft needed to take a objective. Uh, air defense fighters are worth 40 points apiece. Enemy aircraft is worth 60 points if destroyed over the targeted area. So suppose you're over, and we're just talking about white here, I'm not talking about the red, because those are actually, they take more objective points, they take 180 to take. But uh, the white ones, the neutral uh, objective points uh, require uh, 140. So each air defense aircraft is worth 40 points. And an enemy aircraft in that targeted area that's still white is worth 60. So remember that. That's important. Suppose you get into a, you know, a brawl over a contested area. Every time you knock down an enemy aircraft, you're going to get more points for taking down an enemy aircraft than you are the air defense aircraft that are there. So that that's something to remember. So we're going to jump in here and we're going to create this. And I'm simply going to be flying next to the uh, objectives and giving you an idea of what uh, you need to do for each one of those objectives. Um, 
the, uh, as I stated earlier, each objective is not the same. Uh, and that seems to be a little bit of an issue uh, f for some of the uh, players. And obviously, they're, they're new to uh, this game. Uh, and maybe haven't read the patch zone. notes. So I'll be going to the garrison, the air base, and the military base. We'll do the military base, base first. And I'm obviously flying a light fighter. Uh, this is, uh, uh, I guess you could call it kind of a multi-role. It does mount, it does mount rockets, uh, but yeah, it's it's not something that carries a, a huge amount of ordnance. Um, this actually only has two rockets. It doesn't have it completely fully upgraded. But this is, I guess, I wouldn't really consider this multi-role. I consider more something like you know the Corsair uh, as a much better multi-role uh, aircraft. So uh, military, uh, the uh, military base. Uh, Every 20 seconds, there's a rocket strike, so it's definitely a viable target that you you might want to take. So I'm going to stroll on over here, and I'm, this is going to be entirely air defense, nothing to do with the ground. So we got one, two, two air defense fighters in that. So they're only worth 40 points a piece, right? Um, so that obviously is 80. That means you're not going to be able to take. Uh, you're not going to be able to take that air that that objective by simply shooting down the aircraft. You're going to need uh, a GA, uh, a heavy either a heavy fighter or a multi-role with plenty of ordnance to take that target. Um, you know, you shoot down the two aircraft and it's still not going to turn completely blue. All right, so I'm going to roll over here to the garrison. Uh, I actually literally like this aircraft. I have not completely upgraded yet, but uh, the roll rate on thing is just ridiculous. This, however, the garrison has one, two, three, four, four of them. There's four air defense fighters. There's four air defense fighters in this. Um, four air defense fighters. I'm yeah. Four air defense fighters covering this garrison. Um, so, by rights, with four air defense fighters, you're going to have, uh, you know, 160 uh, superiority points, that, or influence points, which is, you know, more than, obviously more than 140. So you can take the garrison by simply shooting down the aircraft that are involved there. We're going to roll on over here to the uh, air base with the wrench. Obviously, that's for uh, fixing your aircraft if they become uh, damaged. And we have here... Besides the uh, the enemy aircraft, one, two, three, four, five, six. There's actually six of them there. So the air base uh, has six air defense fighters, and they are you know you only need 140. So you have six air defense fighters, um, and you do not need a multi-role or a uh, GA or a heavy fighter with ordnance. You're able to take the air base by simply shooting down all of the uh, aircraft in the air base. Pretty easy, right? I mean, that's uh, pretty standard stuff. So we have military base. Cannot take it by simply taking the uh, shooting down the aerial uh, defense fighters, uh, garrison, and um, air base. You do need you. You can take without uh, without any support. Uh, light fighters. I'm looking at you. Uh, obviously, if you're a light fighter, uh, just rolling over the air, the uh, military base here, and shooting down two planes, and then while well, you're done, because you, now you're going to have to go off and find something else to do, uh, because you're going to be shit against uh, aerial targets. So I'm just going to roll here and then roll right up into and uh, get on with this video. So. See if we can. Yeah. Collision warning. Oh, and we're done. All right. So back to hangar, and I will bring up another the other map with the other three uh, objective points, and we'll go through those uh, so you guys get you guys get a idea of what I'm talking about, uh, what you need to do uh, against these um, targets. So. Uh, let's see a crater room. So that was the one that we did there. So now I'm looking for the 
mining plus forward airbase plus command center. All right, where, where did that one go? I had that one earlier. Uh, and you know, sometimes I, you should just, given a chance, I would actually go into these training rooms and just do a little bit of um, looking around uh, and, and try it out. You know, the um, try out some of these maps. Uh, you know, or just go in and simply play against uh, some of the bots. Uh, you know, and get a kind of a uh, get familiar with the how the maps are laid out. Uh, and what's easier and what's not, uh, you know, for taking caps, or the, I should say, taking the objectives, and, and seeing how, uh, you know, what works, what doesn't work, uh, that kind of stuff. So here is the one with. No, there's one more here. Wow, my memory is actually totally, absolutely uh, left me. Here we go. Yep, this is the one I wanted. So this one has the other three. This has the mining plant, forward airbase, and a command center, right? And we talked about that earlier here, uh, the differences between command centers, uh, orders and attack flight of bombers, influence every three seconds. Um, this has also got the uh, manufacturing plant, or the mining plant, I should say, which provides three influence every five seconds and provides 8 influ 80 influence every 120 seconds. So this is the big uh, superiority uh, point getter, right? Uh, obviously because of its, you know, it's a mining plant, right? It just mines that shit. And the other one is the forward airstrip, which is a, re a selectable respawn point from which you can re-enter your combat if your aircraft is destroyed. Provides three endpoints. Obviously the forward airstrip is definitely different than the airbase. Something to remember. So we'll flip back over here to the uh, training room. And once again, I'm just gonna fly over the, air, the area to show you uh, what you need to do, obviously, and what kind of aircraft you're gonna need to take that objective. Fairly simple. I know this is a pretty simple video, but um, this seems to be a problem uh, in a lot of games, right? For me, at least. Uh, watching uh, an entire group of light fighters head to the mining plant and get there and realize, uh, oh wait, um, you know what? Man, this isn't going to work. <laughs> and, and, and I know, I know, I know, everybody doesn't like to read patch notes, but uh, you know, it does help uh, understanding this stuff. So what I'm first going to do is I'm going to run through all three of these. I'm going to hit the actual command center first, you are approaching the front uh, which is the center objective here, the one that looks like a satellite dish, right? Calls in bomber strikes. And what we're going to do is just kind of roll up here. Ooh, that's a nice looking aircraft. Boost up a little bit. See so if we get a little altitude over here. And the command center is coming into view right about now. So we got two, three, and I'm back up. So, three. There is three air defense fighters in the command, um, the command post. Uh, that objective right there is going to require more than light fighters to take. Uh, obviously, if you take three of those planes down, that's 120 points. You need 140. So you're going to have to take out some ground targets. Multi rolls, obviously, heavy fighter with ordnance. Uh, any of those aircraft with ordnance, uh, you need to head to there. Uh, light fighters are going to help. But, you know, maybe you want to take your light fighter somewhere else, like a garrison or an air base or something where you can knock down the airplanes and take the base. Here is the mining facility. And, um, yeah, nothing. There is nothing here to shoot at as a plane, uh, other than if you're a GA or a multi role with ordnance. Uh, yeah. So if you're a light fighter, and you start running over here and you're like, hey, look, I'm going to go shoot some shit down. And, oh, wait, there's there's nothing there. Uh, yeah, you've wasted my time and your team's time uh, by not uh, going after a different target. So, uh, apparently he's capping that, so I'm not going to go over there because I'm not going to get a D 
decent count on the uh, actual number of aircraft there. I'm sure he's probably shot a few down. Looks like he's already shot at least two down. Um, so we're going to run over to this other air base quick. Uh, and just we're just doing a count. I'm just showing you what air defense fighters are uh, per base. And I'm, I'm thinking some of this might actually change depending on what tier. I haven't did any real low tier stuff. Um, I would have to go back and do you know tier 1, 2, and 3 and actually see this. But uh, this seems to be, you know, 5 and above. This seems to be about the right number every time uh, you get into these objective points. So, rolling in here on the uh, last one, and we got one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, six over top of the forward airstrip. Pull back out of it. Uh, so, yeah, this target is one of those that you can actually take uh, with light fighters. Uh, you don't need any help from the GAs or the uh, ground attacks, or anybody carrying ordnance. You can take that simply with a light fighter. Uh, ooh, pretty blue. I guess I've never even looked at this yet. Pretty sweet. I wonder if you actually die if you run into them. We'll do this as an experiment as I'm leaving here shortly. So I hope that the video was uh, somewhat instructive. I'm going to be doing one of the GAs going over ground targets and what they're worth. Uh, but I just wanted to get this one out and uh, try to give some people some heads up uh, about how this all works. So, yeah, dead. All right. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, send them below. Uh, sometimes I'm not always the best about returning comments, but, uh, you know, give me some time. Uh, I'm usually a pretty busy guy, so uh, we'll talk to you guys later.